So you probably are aware that in the video description of all my videos there is a link to a public books folder. In the second page of it you can find this document. Let's actually open this one up and there are all sort of uh, videos and this is meant to be an index. It's a lot easier to find things in here than in uh, YouTube normal search which is kind of a noisy. Uh, so if you scroll onto a section that is uh, how parsing works in Curator, you're going to find part one, two and three of this series. This is precisely part four, that's why you don't have a link there. And uh, on the more recent videos, uh, I'm not only putting the date, but also the duration of it. Just, uh, and, but I want to point this out because in this section, there are very many things that will complement the knowledge you have acquired by watching the first three parts of the videos. And when it, when it, when something gets known, when it's a store, you know, whether do I have the right parser installed, that's a good video there. Uh, a tutorial on how you do the things that you saw me doing here in Regis when they set JSON and leave, which is a lot easier. Uh, concept of parsing order. We when when you have an event, who who grabs it first, and, and that's actually very important. That's an introduction on the whiteboard, and this is an example. Syslog redirect. How do you modify existing logs when they are being altered by some third party that forwards those to you? This is about you know the the format in the parser that some things you cannot force them out. Then a lab that shows you how you can replay logs and how you can, you know, do all the things that we show in here. And uh, another link to a box folder where all these logs are for you, ready for you to, to actually play. And finally, a regular expression uh, cheat sheet uh, in case that you want to practice some more on regular expressions. So I hope that this will give you a very good introduction. I mean, you might be good enough. You, you may, these parts are kind of advanced. Uh, with what you have learned on those three parts, you might be good. But in case that you want to increase your knowledge or you're looking for certification or, or you're doing more complex things, uh, keep this uh, series of videos in mind. And again, there are very many in here if you're working from home. This section of segmenting your home network and learning cybersecurity while, while making your log sources at home more secure is actually very good. That uh, searching in Curator is a good topic always. Uh, this, this use case manager is uh, really very, very nice. And the, I'm looking, Pulse is uh, very nice, but I'm looking at the CE733, which is the free Curator. You can actually by installing this free Curator CE, you can use it to practice some of the things after you have segmented your network at home. So again, uh, thank you for watching up to, up to this point, and I hope that this will be useful in your career, uh, managing, administering, or, or doing uh, detection with uh, Curator technology.